Hey, sisters! It is Monday, October 18th, and lovely Laura Lee has a birthday today. So let me say, happy, happy birthday to lovely Laura Lee. Happy, happy birthday. She's got the cutest knees. Happy, happy birthday to lovely Laura Lee. I hope she lives to be 120 along with me. Happy, happy birthday, sister. Sadly, though... General Colin Powell passed away today, and I always enjoyed hearing him speak. He had such a presence and such stature. So I can only say, live lively, live lovely, for we know not when our party ends. So dance like you're naked and all alone. Love like your life depends on it. Forgive sincerely and sleep soundly. So right there is three-quarter cup of the buttermilk that I made with a cup of the shelf whole milk that I used for the chocolate pie and the spud nut donuts. This is the last of it. I have used that milk to its fullest capacity. And vanilla, buttermilk, flour, baking powder, butter, sugar, three eggs, and a big bowl. And I'm going to make scratch buttermilk pancakes. Happy birthday again, lovely Laura Lee. You are ageless and timeless and youthful to the core. Sit tight, because there is more. Okay, step one. There's three eggs in there. There's three tablespoons of melted butter. There's one and a half teaspoon of vanilla. And there's three quarter cups of the buttermilk. And I'm going to whisk it. The cool thing about making buttermilk pancakes, or pancakes of any kind, you don't need a hand mixer. In fact, they prefer that you don't use it because if you incorporate it so smoothly, it's like you just get really super thin, nothing pancakes. And my secret ingredient, I'm going to add nutmeg. Okay, dry ingredients, and you know I like to sort it through there. So this is one cup plus three tablespoons of flour, one and a half tablespoons of sugar, and three teaspoons of baking powder. And of course, the list of ingredients will be in the description of the video. But these are the steps. So I'm going to pour this. Oh, and then one teaspoon of nutmeg, because it made those spud nut donuts taste so good. So then I'm just going to shake this in there so that when I whisk it, I won't get all clumpy and lumpy. Okay? Okay. So the buttermilk pancakes are all whisked together. Oh my God, that is such a beautiful consistency. But wait, you can't have homemade buttermilk pancakes without homemade syrup. Watkins maple extract. I got this at Walmart. Simple maple sugar, one cup of boiling water, two cups of white sugar, and a half a teaspoon of Watkins maple extract. It's homemade syrup to go with the homemade buttermilk pancakes, yo. What do you think? So there's my one cup of boiling water, to which I'm going to add two cups of sugar, and I'm going to Cook and stir over medium heat until the sugar is dissolved, and then I'm going to remove from heat and stir in the extract. Makes two cups. So this is totally incorporated. I'm turning off the heat, and I'm moving it to a pot holder, and then I'm going to add the maple extract. Okay, so the extract is in, and it smells so wonderful, like maple syrup. But if you wanted dark maple syrup, then I would suggest that you use two cups of dark brown sugar. I just used white sugar, water, and the maple extract. But it's going to taste wonderful, and it's going to taste like syrup, maple syrup. There is maple syrup, simple maple syrup. Okay, you want it to be dark? Use dark brown sugar instead of white sugar. So now I'm heating up my electric skillet, and there's my pancakes, and they say the best pancake is made with one quarter cup of batter. So I'm going to make four pancakes in honor of my sister Laura Lee, lovely Laura Lee's birthday, and then I'll finish out the batter and freeze them. 
Look at that. One quarter cup each of pancake batter. And here's my cool breakfast plate from Dollar Tree. Yeah, your dishes don't have to match. They just have to be purposeful. And I only need one plate. So how beautiful are those? That is one quarter cup of batter. And it makes four beautiful pancakes. That's the first turn. The trick is a nice hot griddle, a nice layer coating of oil or butter or whatever you like to cook in, and then make sure that the one side is all bubbled broke. Four beautiful pancakes. Now, I've already had my breakfast because I'm like up at five. So I am going to eat one pancake, and there was a little bit of syrup left in the pan, so that's what I'm going to use, just so that you know. I eat my own cooking. So I started four more. Those three are going into the freezer. That one I'm going to eat. So hang on. Okay, here we go. Kind of share the butter, huh? Okay. Now I'm looking at this through the camera, so that's why I'm I can't see. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Better than IHOP. Better than International House of Pancakes. Better than Denny's. Happy birthday, Laura Lee. Love you, girl. So there's my clean plate, Mommy, or Boss Grandma. And there's the last of the pancakes. And these are ready for to be bagged and put in the freezer. So I got a total of 11 pancakes. I guess if you make them smaller, you get more. But that's how I roll. So happy birthday again, lovely Laura Lee. Bon appetit!